Hey, it's Sean from Vinnie Mac, and today we're going to talk about the six best platforms you can use to market for your roofing business. Let's go ahead and dive into it. This isn't just any podcast. This is your secret weapon for dominating the market. This is the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast, and this is your host, Sean McMean. So number one is you want to attract people that have high intent and are looking for your services. And the best place to do that in 2024 and 2025 is going to be Google. There's two different types of ad programs that you can run and market for your business. Number one being Google search ads and number two being Google local service ads. It's also called Google guaranteed. These platforms are very high intent because it's somebody actively looking for a roofing company, roofing installation, roofing repair, those sorts of uh, topics. Um, and you can even get a little bit more um, uh, long tail, what we call long tail keywords in there. Instead of just typing uh, roofer as your target keyword, you want to go after more longer tail keywords or, or multi-word searches in there. So the pros with that is it's highly targeted. Um, you reach active searchers looking for your service services because it's one of these situations where they're going to be typing in a, a search and they're looking for that service right now. It's, uh, clearly, they, they could be looking for multiple estimates, but it's very targeted and they're actively looking for something, right? The cons of it are it can be a little bit expensive uh, in the Google search pay-per-click uh, side of things, and it is getting more expensive over time. But again, you pay more for more qualified Lead. That's the, the the pros and cons of using uh, Google Ads, Google Search Ads, or pay per click, um, and also Google Local Services. The benefit of using Google Local Services is there is a dispute process in there. If a lead comes in, it's not qualified or out of your service area. Those are the two platforms that I would recommend on the Google side. Number two is Facebook and Instagram ads. Um, it, you know, everybody knows that you scroll through Facebook and Instagram, it's a visual side of things and, uh, you can showcase your work and your team and your brand, and you can then hone in on, uh, targeting. So the pros of Facebook and Instagram ads for your, for generating roofing, uh, phone calls is it's a visual side of thing that if you create a, a good image, a good copy, you're going to pique the interest of somebody that could potentially need those services. These uh, leads are a little bit less qualified and require a little bit more follow up, but it absolutely works and it absolutely gets people to raise their hand. You can also target just like Google ads, you can target a specific area um, and some demographics related to that. So that is a, an advantage. The cons of of Facebook ads are they're, they're a little bit less qualified. Again, it's people scrolling through their feed and all of a sudden your ad pops up um, of your company or the services that you provide. And um, so they're not actively searching for it, but it comes to comes to their, their feed and, and then they interact with it, right? So again, number two is Facebook ads and Instagram's uh, ads. They are effective uh, as well. Number three would be local uh, search engine optimization or SEO. This involves making sure you have a website that is branded for your company and you're talking about the services that you provide, where you provide those services, and all of your expertise. And so you're showing Google that you are a, a trusted source online um, for solving these solutions that people come to Google for, right? And so local SEO has a lot of pros, um, improves your visibility in your local market, um, and is often the lower cost uh, and higher return on investment uh, for local SEO. We have a number of roofing clients that generate 30, 60, 80 uh, opportunities per month by just doing SEO services in the roofing space. The cons, it takes a little time uh, to see results if you've never done SEO or if you uh, had somebody do an SEO and they didn't have an effective strategy or blueprint for it. So it, it requires an ongoing effort. If SEO is not something that you can just do a couple blog posts and get a couple reviews and then stop. Uh, it's ever evolving and your comp competition is always um, evolving as well. And so the more consistent you can be with it, the better off you're going to get uh, on the results over time. So that's number three is local SEO. Number four is using other uh, third party, uh, either lead generation sites or local home service websites. We've all heard of Angie's List and Home Advisor and Nextdoor. Those platforms can be effective to connect with homeowners seeking your services. Um, you know, and, and so there, there is a cost associated with that, right? And so 
Um, there's lots of competition in dealing with those. Sometimes you will see lower quality leads, but then you'll see other times where you, it's a very effective, high quality lead. So it's just, you gotta even out the, the positives. So you put in tracking in place in order to say, yeah, this month I generated X number of leads from Nextdoor or from HomeAdvisor or from Angie's List. And how much did I spend for it? Is it worth staying in that platform? I always recommend a multi-pronged approach, right? You don't want to be all in on Google, all in on Facebook and not doing anything else. So using these home service websites is a f an effective strategy along with a combination of other things. Number five, if you're looking for commercial business, uh, you know, LinkedIn is a great resource for commercial connections with people that are in your area whether it's property managers, whether it's apartment complexes, whether it's uh, other commercial businesses, building that network on LinkedIn to show that you provide uh, roofing services in the specific area and some of the work that you've done in the past, LinkedIn is a great B2B connection tool. And so that's really the big pro of that. Um, so if you have a, a, a salesperson that their responsibility is to go out and build relationships and networking, LinkedIn is great. Uh, place if you were looking for commercial roofing. The con is it's not effective on the residential side. Your homeowners, they might have professional, pro, they might have profiles on LinkedIn, but these are their, typically for their job or, or whatnot. So use it for a commercial side and building that commercial side up and creating connections. And again, it's a long-term approach of building those relationships and letting people know that you provide this service in your area. Number six is the traditional method of using yard signs, local newspapers, and radio. Um, you know, it, it can be great, effective tool for building brand awareness and um, you know a visual aspect within your local market where people are not searching online. So just because we do online marketing and give you tips on how to do online marketing for roofing. Uh, services, it doesn't mean that we don't believe in that multi-pronged approach where you have to have boots on the ground and people um, seeing your signs. You know, for instance, if you've done a job in a neighborhood, you can do a campaign where you send postcards out to other people in that neighborhood. Great, works great for hail events or storm events. Um, obviously, putting your yard sign in the, in the yard is amazing. And then canvassing that neighborhood is amazing too. So the cons is it's hard to track ROI on this sometimes and you reach a smaller audience, but it can be very effective. Um, so you can set up, let's say you have a yard sign or you have postcards or, or whatnot, you can set up a tracking number for those to see what sort of um, uh, calls and leads those, those generate. Uh, so you can get a, a little bit effective uh, tracking on the return on investments. But again, the con is it's a smaller audience, but it could be more qualified because they're actually in the area of uh, where the event took place. So again, I recommend a multi-pronged approach. These are six tips uh, or six ways that you can you can do your advertising. We'll talk more about them and in, in more, uh, more detail about uh, Google ads, about Google local services ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, local SEO, home service websites, LinkedIn, and the traditional method of of doing um, yard signs and, and local newspaper and radio. But if you have a mixed strategy, you then multiple fishing poles in the water, and that's really the most effective way to build your roofing business. You've been listening to the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast. Sean's not here to just talk the talk. He's walked the walk with a track record of helping over 70 damage restoration companies and engaging in over 500 conversations with industry owners. He's seen it all. From digital marketing triumphs to the most ingenious growth hacks, he's got the keys to the kingdom and he's sharing them with you. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, for more, hit the website at restorationmarketing.com. See you next time on the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast.